You expect Dame Lillard to do what he does, 34 points. They hit a ton of threes, 19 of 40 from downtown in that game. Carmelo Anthony off the bench, 18 points, hit four threes. Mm. Again, back in Denver, where it all started for him, drafted in 2003 after the Detroit Pistons decided they wanted Darko Milicic. So he ends up in Denver. And what was strange, guys, and I call it strange because it's just been so long, is that there's Melo, and everybody's happy for Melo at this point in his career, right? Still, still, he's still contributing, still part of winning, still scoring, now relegated to more of a guy coming off the bench. And they booed him in Denver. They were booing him. Carmelo Anthony playoffs, being booed man. in Denver. So what? Playoffs. Booed him. So, so what? what? It's, it's fans, man. That's what they do. It's Melo. It doesn't so make sense. There's a guy that, that – You don't that, think they're going to boo him when he comes to New York? No. They're going to boo him. Never. He will never be oh, booed in New York. Alan, Alan, stop. Yeah, Alan, if, if you guys were in the NBA Finals and Melo had the ball, you're telling me fans in – Well, they're going <laughs> to cheer. Me, fans in they're going to well, boo. Yeah, well, what's the opposite of that? They're going to boo him. But this is different. This Why? is this is their uh, booing yeah. their team. They didn't, their they team's didn't. not playing well. He's knocking down threes. He's they doing a three like to the him. dome, and they boo him. Here's Melo after the game on Saturday about being booed in one of his former hometowns. Whatever they, you know, whatever they have to say, let them say it. It's, it's, it's not my concern. I don't know what it is. You know, I, I gave my all here when I was for seven and a half, eight years. Uh, I've, I've never said anything bad about Denver, about the fans, about the organization. Players uh, never complained, uh, took everything on the chin, even when it wasn't my fault. I don't know about that part. <laughs> well, he, he, did, he did sort of force his way out of there. <laughs> that's what I, I don't know about that part, but you say why why they boo him. Well, that's why. Because he didn't want to be there. So they drafted him. They, man, it was 11 years ago. Doesn't Ten matter. Years Fans ago, actually. act like they own you, right? They just do. I mean, that, we talk about it all the time. They act like they own you. They have a right to say, do, treat, whatever it is, because you're theirs. In the moment that you reject them, they feel hurt, and that pain lasts forever. For 10 years. It doesn't, can, they're going to do it. You carry it for 10 years. Rather than embrace it and be it's like, the, yo, yeah. these were some fun times when Melo was here. They're like, ah, boo. <laughs> That's what they do. Here, here's what you learn once you've been in the public eye for a very long time, that it, it doesn't matter. Like, you're going to be damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like, at the end of the day, if you want to do something, if you want to pursue your own happiness key, some people aren't going to like that. Some people will like that. Some people won't care. So my thing is, at the end of the day, if you can't make everybody happy, why are you worried about how everybody else feels and, all the and, damn time? And, it's a great point, And today. another thing about it is when athletes leave opposed to being let go. See, when you let go or we're trading you because we don't want you anymore, mm -hmm. now the fans embrace you. Okay. But if they have this feeling that you decided to divorce them and leave them, they don't like that. They want to be able to leave you, though. If I leave you, I feel good. If you leave me, it's like... <laughs> so you're saying, right, so you're saying, like, like when, when I break up with you, it's no hard feeling. No. When you break up with no. me, yeah, How, we think can about, never Think be about it, though, Alan. How exactly. many times have you seen a guy get traded or released that goes back to a team, they cheer him? They don't boo him, but if a player decides he wants out and he leaves, they're going to boo him, no matter what success he's had in that town or that city. The only place you're not going to get booed at, if, if, if you happen to just leave, is college. Because you're forever there. Boy. You're my guy. Duke, J. Will is a Duke guy, no matter what. He's God to do, right? They're not going to boo him I mean, when he walks yeah, in camera. That's, 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 if he transferred it, schools, maybe they if, would boo him. Because he left him. He broke. He didn't finish the task.